Hello, everybody. My name is Brett Hodgkins, and I am one of the grants management team leaders at NIGMS. Um, it is my team of grants management specialists that specifically work on the MSTP applications for our institute. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk pretty specifically about the budget components that make up the MSTP T32 application. Next slide, please. So one of the nice things about the actual MSTP T32 application is that it's a relatively streamlined one. And by, by that, I mean the actual categories of cost that can be requested in the budget application are, are, are very st streamlined and, and that there are only defined categories that can be requested in the application itself. Those categories, which I'm gonna talk about today are stipends, tuitions and fees, training related expenses, childcare costs, travel, and the facilities and administrative costs. So the first cost, that's the most common one that makes up the bulk and the preponderance of the T32 application are the stipends for the individual trainees. So as I'm sure you're aware, each individual trainee does in fact receive a stipend, which is awarded to provide, it's providing actually a substance, subsistence allowance to help defray the living expenses during the research training experience for these individuals. So like I said, each individual trainee is awarded one stipend for their actual time spent on the T32 MSTP application. Currently at NIH, our stipend level for these trainees on this application would be $27,144 per year. Um, each year, NIH, after our budget is approved, oftentimes gets a modest increase to our stipends, tuitions, and fees, and other um, categories of costs for T32s. If that is, in fact, approved, that will be announced in the NIH Guide for Grants and Contracts to actually reflect and articulate those new levels of cost. For tuition and fees, this has been a very stable cost for the last several years for NIH. For tuitions and fees on training grants, NIH does allow up to $16,000 for those individuals in a solo um, degree granting program, or up to $21,000 per year per trainee for those in a dual degree program. So somebody like in the MSTP program, such as this, you know, in a MD, PhD type of program. Again, that $16,000 for the single degree granting program or $21,000 for the dual degree program has been very consistent for NIH for the last several years. But if that um, awarded amount does in fact increase in, in this year or future years, that will be published through the NIH guide for grants and contracts. Next slide, please. So another item of cost that we do see on the training grant applications for the MSTPs is for travel. Currently NIGMS awards up to $300 per trainee per travel per year. Now, the important things to note with this is that the actual plans for the trainee travel, you know, need to be well justified so that the travel that is, you know, embarked upon on these applications must be things that are relevant to the trainee's experience on the actual MSTP program. It's also very important to note that the trainees must be appointed to the training grant at the time of the actual travel for this to be an allowable cost. So what this means is that, you know, speculative plans, you know, cannot be made. This needs to be something where appointee, you know, trainee A has been appointed to the grant, and then they plan on actually, you know, taking that travel related um, to the research experience on that training grant. Uh, next slide, please. So training related expenses is another category of cost that is allowed on the MSTP applications. Currently for predoctoral trainees, uh, NIH does allow up to $44,550 for training-related expenses. Again, if this amount does increase in fiscal year 24, that will also be published in the, in the NIH Guide for Grants and Contracts. What's really important to note with the training-related expenses is that a number of things can be covered in this item of cost. You know, this can cover such things as health insurance, staff salaries, consultant costs, supplies, equipment, anything of that nature. One thing that that's worth noting too for the actual MSTP application is that in the budget justification, you know, the details don't really need to be too terribly specific for these direct cost items. And the reason being is because you know it's a pretty standard formula that NIH awards for each of these items of cost for these categories. So it's a little bit different for those of you who are familiar with submitting applications for you know large research mechanisms or multi-component mechanisms. 
where the actual budget justification would be pages and pages for certain items of cost. For a T32 MSTP application, it's much more streamlined. The other two items of cost that I don't have slides on, but I think it's worthwhile to bring up for the point of today's discussion are childcare costs, which are a relatively new initiative that NIH has allowed on training grants. Um, what NIH does currently allow for training grants is up to $2,500 per year per trainee for child care costs. Um, what's really nice about this initiative is that it, it's a way NIH is trying to recognize, maintain, and, and keep individuals in the biomedical research field. And what that means is that you know the cost of, of child care is obviously quite sizable. So by NIH providing the subsistence for child care costs, the goal and hope is that individuals stay in biomedical research because they're able to afford things such as child care costs that are provided through these applications. And the last item of cost, which is obviously very standard, um, is the facilities and administrative costs. Currently, and which has been kind of the longstanding policy for NIH, the facilities and administrative cost is defined at 8% per application per year. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a you know, for-profit institution, a college or university, a hospital, it's a standard 8% for all training grant applications within NIH. Next slide, please. And that is all I have. Thank you.